Boys and girls, today we are going to model a division problem to find how many equal groups. You have learned how to divide yesterday the number inside each group. You have learned how to put the number, um, how many counters inside groups. Today is going to be the opposite. We now know how many what should be inside the group, but we don't know how many big groups we should have, how many equal groups we should have. That's what we're going to do today. Now you will learn how to divide to find the number of equal groups. Let's read the problem, please. William has 12 shelves and some boxes. He wants to put his shelves in groups of three. How many boxes does he need for his shelves? Underline what we need to find. So what are we going to underline? Tyson? How many boxes? How many boxes does he need for his shelves? How many shelves does William want in each group? Three. Three. Three boxes. How many shelves does one uh, want in each group? Three shelves. Three shelves. Make sure you're writing this down. Okay. Now, boys and girls, we know he has a total of 12 counters, right? Which the counters are technically the shelves. Okay? So you look at the 12 counters. Now, circle groups of three counters. Oh, circle one group of three counters. They have to do it for you. So let's go over the one group of three counters that they circled for you. Trace the group of three counters that they already did for you. Now, continue to circle groups of three until there are no more that you can circle. It doesn't matter how you do it. You don't have to do it the same way. All right. How many groups did we find then, guys? How many groups of counters were there? How many big equal groups? Four. Four equal groups. So William needs how many boxes for his shelves, everybody? Four. Okay, now here's the math talk down here. Let's talk about this real quick. How would the drawing change if William wanted to put his shelves in groups of four? We have 12, right, still? So we had 12 shelves still. But instead of groups of three, he wants them in groups of four. So you draw, you circle one group of four first, and then you circle a group of four again, and a group of four again. And so instead of three in each group, now you have four in each group. But in before you needed four boxes, and now you only need three boxes. Okay, go to the next page. Try this. Sarah has 15 shelves. She wants to put each group of five shelves in a box. How many boxes does she need for her shelves? We first have to draw the counters. Step one, draw the counters. So over here, draw 15 counters. Draw 15 counters over here. Um, they can be a decent size. They don't have to be huge, though. Because you're going to make big circles later. That's what we're trying to find. Remember, these are just counters. We're just drawing counters. Are we going to circle the counters? Or we go? Because aren't we trying to find big groups? Okay. Right now I have six. You guys keep going until you get to 15. These are counters. Remember that.
we have 15 counters? Yes. Okay. Now, make a group of five counters by drawing circles around them. So I'm going to draw a circle around five of my counters. It says five. Then I'm going to draw a circle around another five and then count. One, two, three, four, five. And then do I have five left over? Yes. So I'm going to circle the last five. I only got four. And you didn't draw enough? Enough. You left one out. I'm happy to put that one in a circle. That one has to be in a circle. That's a problem. That one you probably should put in this circle. Instead, you draw this like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now these are all in a circle. And then one, two, three, four, five. So those are all in a circle. I did my middle one just a little bit. Can I have my pencil? Not yet. Hey, how many groups of five counters do we get? Three. Yay. So how many boxes will she need for her shelves? Three. Okay, what if Sarah puts 15 shelves in groups of three instead of groups of five? Three. How many boxes does she need? Draw a quick picture to show your work. So once again, we still have... How many 15. shelves? 15. So let's draw our 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now make them into groups of three. Make them into groups of three. This time, not groups of five, but groups of three. Thank you. She wants five, three. She okay. She wants groups of three. Up here, she wanted groups of five, so we circled five in a one group. If she wants groups of three. What do you have to do down here? circle three in a group and you keep circling three in groups until you are all done. If you have some left over, you either drew too many or you were did something wrong somewhere. How many boxes would she need then guys? How many boxes would she need? Five. She would need five. Okay, five boxes. Good idea. Put the label. Yesterday, some of you did miss some of them. Are you listening? Yesterday, some of you did miss some because you did not put labels. So you need to make sure you do put a label after five. I hate for you to miss a point because you did not put five boxes down instead of just the number five. All right, share and show. A big store has 24 beach towels. In a pack of six towels each. How many stacks of beach towels are at the store? What do we need to find? Aubrey? How many stacks of beach towels at the store? Okay, write that down.
use what we know about making equal groups to solve the problem. What are we going to do, guys? What do you know what to do? What do, you, what do we do? Oh, hey. So we're doing, we're making six groups. No, that's not what we learned today. We didn't learn to make, we didn't do six groups first. Yes, first we're going to draw 24 counters. And then what will you do? After you draw 24 counters. Um, then make them in circle two. Um, you guys agree you circle two counters? No, 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 no. no. You can circle six. Yes, you will circle six counters. Yes. Then? I will circle six counters till all are in groups. Okay, we're going to show this. We're going to draw 24 counters. Then what do we need to do when we draw them? Everybody? Circle, circle six counters. Okay, so I'm going to circle six counters. Yes, we're making them into two groups of six. Okay, now let's complete the sentences. The store has blank beach towels. How many beach towels does the store have? Four. Twenty-four. There are blank towels in each stack. How many towels were in each stack? Six. Okay, so you just did the picture. How many stacks are there? How many stacks of six towels are there, everybody? Four. There are four. Okay. The rest is on you.